Hello everyone, this is Daniel Ismaili and on behalf of Fusion Engineering Corporation, I'm going to talk about Q3D. This is another uh, video of Q3D series. So in last one, we talked about uh, joining to uh, connection in the series and uh, this time we're going to talk and did, uh, we, did the, we showed you the matrix reduction uh, this time we're talking we're going to talk about the return pad and also using matrix reduction to see how we can achieve that goal to make it simple uh, we made this uh, die uh, as a copy of the bigger one and we cut the connection between the dies and the new one as you can see this is the new part in the last video we had only these two sections so we'll, we'll be having much more nets and we assign sync and source please refer to last videos to see how that works uh, the reason we did that is because uh, sometimes uh, we, we people like to see a return pad for their design so a simple version of that is that only this part is taken and the highlighted part are the one that are connected together so assume these two at the end and at the beginning are connected together so this is one path and the current wants to go backward during this other one so that's the uh, path for the current so this will be parallel together and this will be the return path and that's what we're going to show you today so this is the model if I show everything this is a part of bigger model here and these are the different nets that we have there's a big die the small die and four different sections as you can see we named in lead 3 2 and <coughs> 1 and this part is die the third one the small one as you can see here we have only an original matrix so this is already solved and when we click here, we see only original uh, on this menu, no matter if I choose DC or AC. So what we want to do is make this two, two uh, in parallel, which is lead 1 and lead 2, and then we'll make the lead 3 the return path. So first we need to choose the parallel one. We're going to join them in parallel. So here we say lead 1 and 2 in parallel and lead 1 and 2 we need to choose one and two and save and close so as you can see this is, is created now we need to add a return path so we say return and we name it three so it's returned to uh, number three and here we say one two three so we need to choose a return path number three is chosen save and close now we have these uh, joining parallel and we can check them out our matrix so here are the matrix and we go to AC or DC and we'll see the join parallel here as you can see lead 1 1 is here as well as here so this is the new one which didn't exist before if you want to look at the self inductance this is the self inductance are the resistance and we can check for different uh, frequency same thing we can see them in um, ACRL so I hope you like this video uh, please let us know if you have any question and please make sure you're not confused between the names here lead 11 as you can see is 1.57 when we go to the original it's 344 the reason is that the uh, meaning of lead 1 1 is different in original versus in, in parallel. That, that's why we need to be careful for the name. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any question, you need to uh, answer software or you need any consultation, please feel free 
able to reach out to us and these are the ways you can uh, contact us we have uh, three locations in the United States and we cover many states I wish you a great time